It's an hour later and now I'm gonna start breeding. Huh. You know, I just got distracted with my doggy. Uh but <laughs> but this is the situation. That that's the situation. You know? I put you back here because when I was severing the hair, it kept getting caught on the camera. <gasps> no! I forgot my wire was on the ground. Oh man, oh man. I usually call my first braid my humble braid because my first braid is usually the worst and the slowest. Boom. First we're done. I'll be back in an hour. Hello! Um, I just took some pictures, like some little self-portrait moments, because I want to paint a new self-portrait. Anyways, I have a lot going on.
see that box right there, but. I got a Christmas tree and it's fake and we're gonna set it up. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I was thinking of putting it like right behind this chair here. Uh, as you can see, the chess table is very prominent in the household. I'm trying to get to the chess, but I think the best move is to move this. This box literally just has the tree parts in it. And although I'm holding this and making it look like a light, uh, flower bouquet. It is not all white or flower bouquet. It is very heavy and my shoulder feels like it's gonna come out. Yeah! Open up! Um, to um, lift her up and out, bouquet her, lift this up, throw it out, and then put it back in. Boom, pow, turkey chicken, okay. Wow! Okay, so it is wildly easy. Ooh, this is looking pretty Christmas. Why is it spinning? talk about ins and outs for the year ins and outs for the year i have them written on my handy dandy ipad you can't see it's too bright but i wrote them in good notes on my ipad and we're just gonna talk about them so let's talk first in is spending more time outside that's so important to me um I feel like I spent the least amount of time outside this past year, and every other year I spent more time outside, and I was happier every other year. I don't even know if that has, it's, I don't know if that's directly correlated to me spending more time outside, but I know that spending more out time, more out time, <laughs> I know that spending more time outside uh, would be really extremely helpful 
in, you know, my well-being. Soaking up all the vitamins from the sun before it explodes. Second in, saying yes more often. And this doesn't mean saying yes in like a work way because I need, I cannot be saying yes in a work way like that uh, more often. Um, but saying yes to going out randomly. If I'm free and I'm not doing anything, if my plans are to stay in my bed or in my room and like read, right? I love reading. I do it every night. But there's nothing wrong with a little spontaneity. Third in, going to places for fun. This past year, I didn't do much of that. I was kind of disappointed in myself when I sat and reflected on it. Every time I really went somewhere, it was really to get something done. <laughs> I was definitely a workhorse this past year. So <laughs> I need to go to more places for fun, even if I don't want to drive because I got to drive more. So <laughs> fourth in is not waiting on anyone. And that means not waiting on anyone to do things I want to do, which I need to take way more seriously in my life. One big thing that I ended up doing, I'm really proud of myself for doing, uh, was signing up for a ceramics class. I been pushing off ceramics for two years. And it's because I kept finding excuse after excuse. So um, it's like an eight week course and I signed up for it for February, which will 100% be the busiest month of my life. But I feel like ceramics will be a good break. Um, almost mandatory because, you know, I signed up for the classes and stuff to take every like once a week. So I'm really excited for it. Fifth in is investing in higher quality clothes, like basics. This was a couple of people's ends I saw, but it's one of my ends especially because I don't own, like if I were to look at my closet, I can tell you right now that I own four, what I'd like to call lifetime pieces, and then the rest are just not the best quality. And I need to be better at getting clothes that are like just quality over quantity. So this year I'm really gonna hone in on like if I see clothes, right, that I wanna get, then I'm gonna get a new skirt that's higher quality, sustainably made, and will hopefully last me forever. I need more like this will last me forever pieces in my closet. Sixth in is consistency in the things I like to do. I have ADHD and that means that I tend to hyper focus on things that I like to do. Often it's a toxic behavior and it needs to stop. This year it's going to be big focus on my, what I like to call my prime hobbies, art, reading, cello, video gaming, and then YouTube. So. These are all just hobbies and I want to have more fun doing them, but I also want to be more consistent in doing them. And I think I'll be happier with, you know, the outcome of whatever I like to do if I'm consistent in doing that, especially when it comes to art and playing cello. So, and my last in is protecting my peace at all costs. And this means protecting my peace everywhere, like in every aspect of my life, especially work. Like, if I don't vibe with someone anymore, we're just, like, drifting apart. Letting that happen. Not fighting it. Just letting life do what life does. Life's what you make it. You're finished the lyrics. Make it right! <laughs> um, so yeah, that's- those are all the ends. Now it's the outs. It's outs time. First out is less time on my phone, less time doom scrolling. And I feel like that coincides with being outside more. Um, but instead of spending my time numbing my brain on TikTok, I'm, every, I'm spending it reading or playing just dance or painting or doing any other hobby that I have. Cause it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm hobbyless. It's not like I don't have hobbies. I have so many things to do, so many things that I like to do that I just don't do because what's easier than all of that? Scrolling on TikTok, so I'm not doing that. Second out, self-doubt. Self-doubt is out of here. I'm done with it. 
I'm done. I'm done doubting myself and everything that I am and everything I do. I'm so over it. I just need to post whatever I want and stop like doubting if people will like it. That goes into the third out, which is fear of failure. Um, my, fear, my fear of failure this year really did stop me from doing a lot of things that probably would have been cool if I just did them. One of those big things was actually art. I didn't paint that much this past year. I didn't do much art at all. And when I reflected on it, it was like disappointing. I was a little disappointed that I really did let, oh, uh, the thoughts of, oh, that doesn't look good. So maybe you should stop. And then like actually listening and actually stopping. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not scared. I can't be scared to fail. All right, so my fourth out is fear of what others think. You know, I really did care too much about what others thought a lot of the time this past year. And it really did stop me from saying what I really thought. And it stopped me from truly expressing myself artistically. And I really didn't like how much I cared about what everyone else thought of me or of my art or videos or whatever. And I didn't, I cared more about what other people thought than what I thought. And I knew that <laughs> when I realized that, that, that that was something that needed to change and I need to change immediately. Cause I'll, you'll never be truly content unless you're happy with yourself and happy with what you put out and what you do. I was not content last year. So I'm gonna work towards that this year. Last but not least, the last out is taking life so seriously. Every decision I make, every day, has a consequence. Sometimes I think about what the consequence is and sometimes I don't think about it. Last year, all I did was think about consequences. Last year, all I could think about was, oh, you did that thing kind of bad. You should probably never do that thing again. <laughs> and that's terrible, that's crazy, that's insane. So this, this year I'm taking life way less seriously because quite literally, well, I don't know. As far as I know, this is the only life I got. I need to have more fun, love more and care less, you know? Because yes, I do care about the people around me. Yes, I do care about what kind of job that I end up having. You know, I care about my job. I care about doing good work, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be so serious all the time. <sighs> so those are my ins and outs for the year. Ins and outs, I made a vision board, you know. I'll show you it. I won't put it up here because this is for me. <laughs> this is for me and only me. This is my vision board. It's on my iPad. It's the background on all of my technology now. Uh, so I'm always reminded of what I really want for myself this year. I'm not about, I'm not all about new year, new me. Just new year, same me with better habits. <laughs> Essentially. Anyways, happy to be back. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye and good night.